Hey first graders, we're going to be working on your words for the story Henry and Mudge and Mrs. Hopper's house. I don't know if Mrs. Hopper is a frog or a rabbit because I haven't read the story yet. I want to remind you about the edmodo.com group where all the forms are available including this base word and suffix form. Suffixes are things that we add to the end of a word. Prefix is something we add to the beginning of the word. A base word or root word is like the original word and then the prefix or suffix is things that we add to it to kind of change the meaning of it. I wanted to review with you open and closed syllables. Some of our words have closed syllables so I wanted to review that. One vowel followed by one or more consonants. Remember this doorway? The vowel cannot get to it so the door stays closed and it can only go a short way so we put the short mark on top. The short mark is called a breathe. So we're going to have some of these syllable types as well as vowel teams. Now I was looking to see if we have any R controlled vowels and we do not. We do have a couple of words that have silent E's. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with our words. So the first base word that we're going to do is slow. 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 O. At the end of a word, O can be spelled with O-W. We indicate that it's long by putting a macron on top. Macron is the long symbol. And then the suffix is li. It's L-Y. When we write our Y, start here and slide down. Okay, it's slanted. And then you come up to the same level as this other line. And you go for a longer slide under the writing line. Please make sure that the tail of the Y goes under the writing line and it's slanted. It's sliding down just like a big slide on the playground. It has an angle to it. Now just to let you know, if you see a word that has L-Y at the end of it, it's an adverb. Adverb. An adverb is a word that describes an action word. So it's describing the action word or the verb. Words that have L-Y are adverbs. That's an easy way of finding an adverb. The next word is quick. The base word is quick. Qu, qu, sounds like quack. That reminds me of a duck. So I do the head of the duck first. It sits on the writing line. And then the tail of the duck goes the other way. Q. And the U. The U always goes with the Q. Qu. I. K. K. Sound following a single short vowel. Now remember the Q and the U are working together. The U and the I are not working together. So the I stands by itself. Okay? So it says I, I, I. It's a short sound. We put a breathe. K. Following a single short vowel spelled with a C, K. Quick. Lee. L. Little slide. Big slide. The next base word is sad. Sad. S-A-D. D, D. My tongue is topping the top of my mouth like a drum. D, D, D. That reminds me the drum in a parade sticks out in front and then the tall person. A single short vowel followed by one or more consonants. The vowel is short. A. Ah. Sadly. Lee. Spelled L. Little slide, big slide, sadly. Remember, L-Y indicates it's an adverb, and adverbs describe 
verbs. The next adverb is gladly. The base word is glad. G, g, g. It's the G. You make a magic C, up and touch, down and curl to the front. G, l, a, d, 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 d. Sounds like a drum. The bubble comes first. One vowel followed by one or more consonants is short. We put the breathe on the top. Lee, glad Lee. Little slide, big slide. The next word, we need to learn this. Go ahead and pull this up. A C followed by an E, I, or Y. The C will say the S sound. Like city, scent, lacy. So our word, our base word is nice. Mm, I, s. And then we have a silent E to make this I say it's long sound. So C followed by an E, I or Y will say this. So we can spell this with a C. Nice. The silent E makes the I say it's long sound. So we put the macaron on top. And we're going to circle the C and the E to remind us that the C is saying a S sound because there's an E after it. Nice. So that E is doing two jobs, making the I say the long sound and making the C say the S sound. Nice. Lee. L. Little slide, big slide. Nicely. And remember, if you say L-Y at the end of the word, that means that that word is a what? Adverb. And the adverb is describing the verb or the action word. The next suffix we're going to do is full. Full, which means full of something. Full of. So... The first one we're going to do is careful, careful, k, k. Now, let me review this with you. A C followed by an E, I, or Y says S. So, k, k can be spelled with a C or a K. There's not a lot of words that start with the letter K. So, it's the C. A, R, but that looks like car. That's an R controlled there. We need this to say E, I mean A. So we need the silent E to make the A say its long sound A, care. C followed by an A. It's not going to say this sound, so it's going to say its K sound. Care. So care, full, f, uh, uh, careful. It's an adjective. And it means full of, full of care. I am careful. I am full of care. The next word is useful. Use, you, that's a long U, s. So that this doesn't look like us, because that looks like the word us. And we need the U to say its long sound. We need the silent E to make the U say its U sound. And this is the Y and the U sounds. Use. Not just ooh, but use. So the E is not making this say a different sound. It's making sure that it doesn't look like the word us. And the silent E is making the long U sound. Use full. The suffix or the extra ending is full. Useful. 
The next base word or root word is pain. We're going to have two words that have the long A sound. Um, we're not going to talk about the beginning A sound, but we are going to talk about the middle A sound and the ending A sound. A can be spelled with A-I in the middle of the word, and A can, can be spelled with A-Y at the end of a base word. The word we're about to do has the A sound in the middle of the word, so we'll spell it with an A-I. The word is pain. P -p. My lips are closed. The line comes first. It goes under the writing line. The bubble sits on the writing line. A in the middle of a base word can be spelled with an A-I. We'll put the macron on top of the A because it says a long A sound. Pain. The next sound is mmm. It's the N. Pain. The suffix or the extra ending is full. Remember, full of pain. It was painful. The next word is play. Play. Remember, hear the A sound at the end. A can be spelled with an A Y. Play. P. L. A. A. Y says the long A sound. Play. Full. Full is a suffix or ending. Full of play. Playful. The next base word is wonder. Now we say wonder. You hear the uh sound? It's not spelled with a U. The U is supposed to say the uh sound, but it's actually spelled with an O. And teachers, I'll let you know that it's from its German origin, wonderful. When I looked it up on dictionary.com, it has a German origin, and the way it was spelled was a W-U. The sound stayed the same. The letter changed over time. Wonderful. Wuh, wuh, wuh. Uh, and this word is spelled with an O because of its word origin. Mmm. D, d, d. I hear the drum sound. The bubble is first. Er is E-R. Wonder. And the suffix is full. Wonderful. Full of wonder. Am I right? I hear German origin makes this say uh. Mm. I'll do an arrow. Uh, it's the short uh sound. Wonderful. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy your story about Henry and Mudge and Mrs. Hopper's house. I wish someone would let me know whether the story is about a frog or a rabbit or maybe a kangaroo because I'm imagining something that hops because it's Mrs. Hopper. So remember L-Y at the end of a word is the quickest way to find an adverb and adverbs describe the verb or the action word. The adjective suffix that we did was full, which means full of something. So it's talking about the base word or the root word. And wonderful, the O says a uh, because of its German origin, where the word came from, way back in time. Hope you have an awesome week, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, first graders.